Hey, I'm Lexi and I'm currently preparing to go on an epic expedition around the world in the new Ford Explorer. I'm here at the Environmental Test Center today to learn about how this vehicle is going to be able to handle some of the different terrains we're going to be putting it through throughout this journey. So let's go check it out. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the Ford Environmental Test Center where we prepare our cars for the world. Let's have a look inside. Great. Let's start in the Hello. Arctic Circle. Wow, this is crazy. Can we go inside? Of course. Let's open the fridge. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, be careful. <laughs> I will be careful. And the uh, good thing on, on an electric vehicle is you can precondition it when it is connected to the grid uh, uh, while charging. Okay. And uh, the snow is all gone before you start even. There's no impact to your range. Wow. Maximizing your range for driving. We have heated seats, so you don't need to heat the whole interior, but yourself with the heated seat, for example. Okay. Wow, it's crazy, I'm freezing in here. <laughs> it is. Let's wow. go out into the warmer. Yeah, let's do it. Category. Oh, look at that. That is one of our wind tunnels we are using to test under different speed conditions. This special rig here is simulating the rain and we test the performance of the wipers at different speeds. Can we go inside? Definitely we can. Oh, let's try great. it out. Let's do it. Oh, you see the, the wind. Oh my gosh. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I think it's working. <laughs> and then it's only 60 kilometers per hour. <laughs> wow. Well. So we can do 250. That is quite a wow. storm then. And uh, the good thing is with electric vehicles, there is no issue with, with water ingress. Uh, electric cars are fully waterproof. <laughs> Approved! <laughs> Let's go into more comfortable temperatures. <laughs> good morning, Sasha. Hello. You prepared the desert for us. After all the snow, the wind and the rain, I think <laughs> yes. this is the one that I'm looking forward to the most. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. We need the sunglasses. Wow. It's really hot. Wow, and this is the Explorer. This is a new Explorer. An early prototype with some prototype parts. Wow, and, uh, it's hot in here. Yeah, it is definitely hot here. Oh, Ooh. and this, this vehicle is on a, on a moving platform. Yes, the vehicle is on a rolling road. So and, can I take uh, it for a ride? Yes, let's <laughs> test it. But in that case, on this drive, without using the steering wheel. Oh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> the heat affects the range in that way that it depends on which comfort level you would like to drive. When you cool it down to 18 degrees, that will have an impact to your range. When okay. you uh, adjust the temperature a bit higher, not to freezing cold, the uh, air condition needs less energy and so you have more drive range. Okay, I have a feeling that's going to be very uh, important to remember. <laughs> yes, especially when you have, uh, when you are really in the hot areas, there's a like area. Wow, that was an incredible experience. Thank you so much again for showing me around. Yeah, it was nice to have you here and uh, I wish you all the best for your long travel around the world. Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs> bye, Lexi. <laughs> yeah, bye. Wow, I definitely had a lot to learn there in the Environmental Testing Center, but I still have a feeling there is a lot left to learn. So let's continue.